This is my other joystick setup. That's the throttle. The uh, stick is here. And it's actually pretty nice. It is in the X52, uh, it's SciTech X52 Pro. Uh, HOTA setup. Hands on stick and throttle. Um, it's programmable. Um, it has a proprietary software that you can use on Windows 7. Um, I don't have, I'm not using it at the moment. But, okay. Um, I did another video of my uh, Thrustmaster stick here. T16000M. I was using that to play BF3. And uh, because I couldn't get this to work. Well, guess what? Today I got it to work. Um, so I did some chopper flying. It's difficult, but I flew around pretty much uh, a good bit without crashing. I did crash three times, but that's, uh, you know, at least I got off the ground and was able to control things uh, pretty decently. I had to be really smooth. Um, it's going to take a lot of practice once we get that practice server set up in our clan. Um, and utilize I can practice in there but today I went in uh, our uh, regular server and was able to uh, get this work in on my own there was no one else in there I jumped into the chopper changed some configs and you know keyboard mappings and such uh, joystick mappings and was able to get it working um, this 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 stick is really nice um, it usually goes between 150 to 200 bucks I found an almost new one um, on Amazon.com for right at a hundred bucks. Um, there's some detents to go in the afterburner here, um, and actually, depending on what sim you're flying with, you can do reverse thrusting. It has a crap load of buttons, even over here. Um, it's a little bit different than my other setup, which was the X35F. And I think X36T. Uh, that was the first model of SciTech. Uh, it's USB uh, run. This, these two here, there's a cable running between the two. To link them up, and then there's a joystick cable over here. It is very nice. Um, I flew a little bit today in the chopper and the plane, and I think I will start using this one to fly the plane because. Uh, it is just nice. Um, this one has the rudder control. It's this is a very sensitive throttle. Um, it centers really nice. There's a, a really beefy spring in the middle here. Um, it is just awesome. Here's some more buttons here that you can program. There's a screen here where you can program. It's actually got the time. It's got different modes. You can flip the you know the the little dials and get different modes. This is actually built for a, a uh, actual bonafide flight sims. Um, it is highly uh, programmable, and I love it.